What is going on, everybody? I want to talk to you today about trying new products and not being, I don't know, fearful of doing that. Because honestly, you have no idea when that product will take off and be a, you know, a leading contender in your lineup. Okay, so let's kind of get into this today. You know, walking caramel apples, a lot of people are talking about it. It's seasonal. It's that time of year. Uh, you'll see in the thumbnail um, a picture of those um, that we did Saturday, which was yesterday. I don't know when you'll see this video. but And we did amazing with them. Typically, they're just extra revenue. Um, for us, they're really not a main deal. But yesterday was one of those days where they were. Like, we sold out completely. And we we're supposed to have enough for this tournament we're doing for Saturday and Sunday. Today is Sunday. I'm getting more product. But we sold out of them in one day. And we had to try, you know, we, we just tried these, I don't know, a couple years ago, something like that. And they stay in our lineup quite regularly. And, and it's wonderful. And, and there's a ton of products, guys, that we have just, that have made it to mainstays in our lineup, in our product lineup, that came from just trying it and not knowing if it was going to do well, not do well. And I get the reservation, okay, of not trying products, right? Because first, you don't want to lose money on something. What if it doesn't work? You know, stuff like that, right? And you don't sell it and you lose money. Well, I, I think there's, you know, a way to strategically work that in. I think you buy extremely small to try it. And the whole goal is to sell out. Like when you try something new. And then expand it. Okay? Expand that further for the next event. Let's just say you buy, I don't know, 10 servings. Okay? The whole goal obviously at the end of the day is to make money but you don't want to lose money either right so trying new products i think it's important that you try as many new products as you can but just buy a little to start out so that if it does fail the loss is minimal right you're not spending as much to try something new. And here's another thing with trying something new. Try to find something that has a shelf life of a couple weeks. Right? That's not going to go bad that weekend if it doesn't work out. That way you can trial run it for a couple weeks. Maybe the event, you know, that you tried on just wasn't a good event. So it's hard to get a good indication of how that product would go. So that that's kind of my two cents and, and how we try new products. One, we look for something that will have a shelf life of longer than a weekend, okay? And then second, we look for something that, um, you know, real small when we purchase it. So if it doesn't go, it doesn't go. The loss is minimal. Now there's a few other things I want to get to when it comes to trying new products. But first, I got a membership group. It's only $2 a month. Uh, we got a workshop coming up this Thursday. And you definitely want to be a part of that. Bunch of vendors in the voice chat discussing everything in the food business. And it's, it's really incredible. So you want to be a part of that membership group. I'll leave a link in the description. Here's another thing about trying new products and, and trying to put your best foot forward. 
seasonality, right? You don't want to try a new product where the seasons and mother nature is not going to be in your favor. For instance, let's say you want to take a dab at, I don't know, selling lemonade. You sell other products, but you want to try fresh squeezed lemonade, give it a go, see what happens, right? Well, what you don't want to do is do that when it's 20 degrees, right? Give your product an opportunity. So you want to try it when Mother Nature is giving you that opportunity because she does, right? She gives you opportunities throughout the course of a year to sell product and to try new products. Here's another thing, seasonality. And I talk about this so much and how important it is for our business anyway, right? I can only speak on us, is gearing products towards seasonality. Walking caramel apples, apple nachos, whatever you want to call them, is just a wonderful example of that. Um, I just did a video for the members uh, about this particular, about our weekend with them. You know, they really come alive in the fall, meaning walking caramel apples. Why is that, do you think? It's seasonality. They really shine in the fall versus other times of the year. Because when the fall comes along, there are certain tastes, certain, you know, smells, whatever, that people have nostalgia for. And it all comes with seasonality. Just like shaved ice, fresh squeezed lemonade, stuff like that. Not only does well during the summer because of the temperature, but it's a seasonality. People remember being kids and getting shaved ice. You know what I mean? So the seasonality has a huge impact on the products we sell. So, so let's circle back here. Trying new products. You want to do it where seasonality is at its peak for that particular product. And look, if it doesn't work, whatever product, okay, doesn't matter. If you gave it a fair shake and it doesn't work, okay, you can cross that off your list of products that didn't work. And they're not all going to work for you, right? We've There's a lot of products. Like, there's one, okay, meatball subs. I do not know what it is. We cannot sell meatball subs. We've tried it various different ways, you know, with real expensive meatballs, cheap meatballs, to good um, buns, it doesn't matter, we can't move it, and you think we could, you know, at some of the tournaments we do, it just doesn't work out, so we don't try it anymore, but we find other products that do work out, and, and it's just trial and error, and not being afraid to try something. Because guys, if you find something that's really a hit for your area and the demographics you sell to, that can be a part of your regular lineup. And that can get you into events where normally you couldn't get into them because you have this unique product or whatever that works out for you. So anyway, I hope I made the case for you guys to try new products. This video is sponsored by the one and only KettleCornMachine.com. They have the best lemonade and kettle corn equipment in the market. Check them out. KettleCornMachine.com. Have a good one, everybody.